What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you're having a great start to your weekend. Now, let me give you a little bit of an update as to what is going on in regards to the stimulus front. First, we have some fairly good news coming out of Congress today. Now, I just want to come out and say I am not, you know, for you know, I'm not on the side of former President Donald Trump. I'm not on the side of Democrats or on the side of Biden. I'm trying to stay right in the middle. But what happened today, it's actually good news for stimulus. So let's address this. First, what happened today? The big news that came out today was that former President Donald Trump will not be impeached. He's not going to be impeached. It actually came out where a total of seven Republicans voted to have former President Donald Trump impeached. But you need 67 total votes, which means they came up 10 votes short of getting him impeached. So what we know right now is that he does have the ability to rerun for president in 2024. Former President Donald Trump was seen as the biggest, okay, the biggest threat to President Biden and Democrats. So what we are hearing now is that, okay, being that, and then Nancy Pelosi came out and said they are not going to censure uh, former President Donald Trump either. And I'll get to that in a second because she was very upset when she did her press conference today as well. I'm not going to play that because you know, a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of you guys are like, stop showing Nancy Pelosi. We don't care about Nancy Pelosi, but you know what she says does technically matter. So here's what we know. If President, or former President Donald Trump is the biggest uh, threat to, to President Biden at this time, and I'm not saying physically, not physically, okay? I'm saying as far as the election goes in 2024, if he, if President, or former President uh, Trump runs again in 2024, this means Democrats have to really put their foot down and push for as much stimulus as possible. This means that, and again, these are just reports, but there are now more progressives coming out saying, this is why. This is exactly what we were telling you. This is why we need to pass more stimulus. We cannot be stingy. We have to push for more stimulus. If that means monthly stimulus checks, we have to do it. So I'm just here to tell you a monthly stimulus check at this point, whether it's from Democrats and President Biden or Republicans and former President Trump, you know, pushing for that. Again, I don't see that happening ever from the Republican side. But what I can tell you is it's not going to happen. It'd be too expensive. And right now, President Biden and Democrats, they have a, a higher or a bigger agenda than just passing a large stimulus check. Now, if this was closer to the election, then probably they would they'd most likely do that. But we just had the election. Not going to happen. So what we know is that being that former President Trump is the biggest you know, threat, Democrats are going to push for more. This means the child tax credits, that $3,600 and $3,000 for children, or this can go to the parents of the child. Those are going to be in the next stimulus package. The $400 stimulus checks, some are, or excuse me, $400 unemployment checks. Those are said to be on in the talks of, we need to make those 600. Those have to be $600. But President Biden is the one that proposed 400. He didn't propose six and Republicans proposed three. President Biden proposed four and that's what they stuck with. But we could see this get pushed a little bit further instead of August 29th, being that all the stuff that kind of went down today, we could see this be pushed back another month until September 30th. That is when the end of the fiscal year of 2021 fiscal year is for the government. So we could see that happen. Also, the $1,400 stimulus checks, some are saying, well, this means we should be go going forward with a $2,000 stimulus check, if not a monthly check. Well, we already discussed that. There's not gonna be a monthly check. Honestly, there's probably like a 1% chance of a, of a monthly stimulus check. I'd say even less than that, maybe a 0.1% chance of a monthly stimulus check. At this point, it's pretty much off the table. No talks about that outside of this group of progressives. However, some are saying that this might be the time that we really push for that $2,000 stimulus check. That's what we promised. And if former President Trump now has the ability to rerun for president, Democrats cannot be stingy. 
even Bernie Sanders has been, been saying this for a few weeks, is that we have to push forward. We remember what happened when uh, President Clinton was in office and then you know, Democrats held the majority and then we lost it. And then the same thing when President Obama was in office and, and President Biden, which was Pre or Vice President Biden at that time, they knew exactly what was happening. They didn't push for as much stimulus. They provided less than $900 billion in stimulus and, and uh, economic relief during the financial crisis of 2008, 2009, and Democrats held the majority, and then Republicans came in and just blew them out of the water. So Bernie Sanders is saying, we can't let this happen again. So what this means, and this is good news, is that they will most likely push for more stimulus. So here's where we're at. Even though the House and the, you know, the House committees have pretty much passed and pushed through the majority of the bills, we still know they have to vote on it. There are still more committees that have to do their work and put their bill into the, the pot. And then they will put those bills, they will combine all those bills and they will vote on most likely come the, the week of February 22nd. So in a little over one week. Right now, what I can tell you is the House and the Senate are going to go on recess. The House is technically on recess, yet they're working on the bills because the House committees are you know, putting these bills together. And the Senate, they're pretty much done now. Uh, they're going to go on recess. They're pretty much going to be waiting and they're kind of in limbo as far as getting anything done because they're waiting on the bill come from the House, has to get passed first, then it'll get kicked over to the Senate and then the Senate can review it through the Senate committees. Well, what we know right now, the House is set to pass the bill that we see right now. The $1,400 stimulus checks, $400 for unemployment per week until August 29th, uh, $300 per, per month for children between zero and five, and $250 for children between uh, six and 17. We also have rental assistance at like $30 billion and also a further eviction moratorium that would extend it all the way through, I think, September. We also have a mortgage forbearance, school funding, vaccine funding, and state and uh, local government funding, and so much more. And that's going to pass through the House. We know that. But what happens when it, kicks, when it gets kicked over to the Senate, that's a whole new story because this changes stuff. Because for a, a while, everybody was thinking, all right, President, former President Trump, he did participate in, in some way in this uh, you know, insurrection of violence at the Capitol, right? He did participate. He did say we we're going to march down there. And, you know, some say, you know, it was his fault. Others say, you know, you can't make somebody do something. And I personally believe even though, yes, he was kind of the voice behind it. You as an adult, I wouldn't have marched down to the Capitol, started rioting no matter what, you know, as an adult. I just wouldn't do that. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. But what we know now is this changes things. This is going to speed up the stimulus talks. This is going to make the Senate now focus on uh, confirming President Biden's cabinet uh, members and stimulus. They don't have to worry about the impeachment trial anymore. So that's done. But Nancy Pelosi, she stated that they will not censure former President Trump for his, particip for, for his participation in the riots on January 6th. They're not going to do that. And here's what she had to say. These are her exact quotes. She says, censure is a slap in the face of the Constitution. It lets everybody off the hook. It lets everybody off the hook. Oh, these cowardly senators who couldn't face up to what the president did and what was at stake for our country are now going to have a chance to give a little slap on the wrist. Then she went on to say, we censure people for using stationary for the wrong purpose. We don't censure people for inciting insurrection that kills people at the Capitol, including Two people, two police officers that actually committed suicide because of what happened. So what does this mean for stimulus now? Well, this essentially means we, the Senate now has more time to work on stimulus. They do not have this impeachment trial hanging over their head every single day. But we know nothing's going to happen until possibly February 22nd. This is when the House will come back. They will have their next session and they could potentially vote on this stimulus package. However, a big however, if the committees are not complete or they're not done, they don't have the bill combined, the House can't vote on it. So it really comes down to the rest of these committees finishing up, getting the bill buttoned up, having it ready so that they can combine the bills. 
if they cannot combine the bills, then it will be waiting and everything will be kind of stalled at this point. So here's what we know. President Biden is urging the House to get this done. Let's get it done. Let's get it passed. Let's move on to the next thing. Right now, we know that the American people are waiting for more vaccines. Some say that they would not get a vaccine. However, when it comes to, okay, the vaccine's ready. Do you want it? Many people are saying, you know, it's there. I might as well take it. So they're changing their mind at the last minute because their group becomes available. All right, it's ready. Do you want it or not? And a lot of people are changing their mind. This is according to multiple reports and multiple studies that, yes, I didn't want it, but now that it's available, I'll take it. So we'll see. And what the CDC has stated and Dr. Fauci has stated multiple times is we need to get about to 80 to 85% herd immunity. Once we get about 80 to 85% of the American population uh, vaccinated, we will achieve herd immunity. And that will be great. We can finally open up. We can get back to our normal lives somewhat. You know, still with some modifications, but things are going to be better. And once we get this vaccine, the American people take it, they become vaccinated, we start to open up, businesses are doing better, the economy's doing better, everything's doing better, we should see there's no need for additional stimulus, which is one of the reasons why they are saying that that is why we are having the cutoff for unemployment at August 29th instead of September. Because in September, you know, the weather could be, be getting a little bit colder, people could start moving inside again, and the numbers are going to start to climb. If we don't see the numbers pretty much maintain all the way through the summer and even into August, if we start to see a climb, that is not good. That is when some experts say we could see an additional stimulus package. It would most likely not include another stimulus check. Most likely would not include more rental assistance. It most likely would not include, include anything for state and local governments or possibly even schools. But it would include, the main thing is it could include more money for vaccines and the other thing is it could include more money for unemployment. Those are the two things that they're currently talking about. So we will see what happens there. But what I can tell you at this point is lawmakers are saying that the $900 billion stimulus package that was already passed and the $1.9 trillion stimulus package that we are about to pass, they are trying to look for issues. They're trying to look for some faults where we could see a gap where we missed out. And so here's what some people are predicting. Some experts are saying that we could see more stimulus get passed. And like I said, probably for unemployment, and it'll most likely be for vaccines. But what we are hearing is that some are saying that we need to include additional stimulus for those hardest hit individuals. Those are kids. So kids have, children have been impacted indefinitely. They're gonna be impacted. And we're gonna see the effects of this probably for years. But some are saying that we're providing the funding for kids to lift them out of poverty. We're opening schools back up. We have money going out for nutrition, for, for meals, which is key, which is great. But we're missing a whole nother group. And this is the elderly, people on social security, people that are on a fixed income. What about them? Well, what we know is that, yes, there are some that are looking into this. There are some that are saying that, yes, you know, seniors need to have some additional stimulus. The cost of living adjustment, that COLA, at 1.3%, it's abysmal. Some are saying that what was the point because the medications, groceries, gas, everything rose so high, the cost of living adjustment did absolutely nothing. Now, I don't get Social Security, so I don't get to see the effects of it. I don't really understand, I don't, I, I, I understand it, I can grasp it, I can, I understand it fairly well, but being that I don't get a check, being that I, I'm not in the system and I don't see it on, you know, kind of play out every single day, it makes it difficult for me to really have an input. But what I can tell you is I do have family members that do receive Social Security, are on a fixed income, and they say the exact same thing, that the cost of living adjustment is a joke. It was a joke, 1.3%, that's it. We just went through the hardest year that we probably ever had in our entire lives and 1.3% is what we got. It's a joke. So there are, according to multiple reports, there are some lawmakers that wanna put something into place, but it won't happen until this $1.9 trillion stimulus package gets passed. They're saying that this would most likely be maybe something they can attach to the infrastructure bill, but it would most likely be something that's gonna come later on. 
going to be one of those standalone bills that, you know, the House and Senate kind of just pass on, you know, oh, it's a Tuesday, let's just pass this bill. Great, let's do it. Well, some are saying we could also see a tax benefit that would forgive unemployment taxes of 2021. We heard this already. We saw that there was a proposal ready for this, yet it didn't get picked up. It didn't get picked up for this stimulus package. It, it's it, chances of it even getting picked up in the next one, or if there's a next stimulus package, but the chances of seeing this at this point, some are saying it's highly unlikely because this is what the IRS is, is hoping for, hoping for some of this money to come back through the taxes. And right now, according to reports, the American people need to pay roughly $50 billion for the unemployment tax of 2020, not even including what could happen in 2021. And if we see uh, the American people who are on unemployment, roughly 20 million people, over 20 million, I think it was 20.44 million people on unemployment last week, those are the numbers. If we see each one of those people get an additional, well, they're getting $300 now per week, but that's gonna go to 400 on top of their state benefits, the tax, the tax break here, tax benefit, if they forgive unemployment taxes, that could be huge. That, that could be insanely big. So that's what we know, but some experts are currently saying that having a fallback plan in case everything doesn't go perfectly is what we need to do. There's no point to be kind of rolling along thinking everything's fine when the stock market is sky high, unemployment is just, well, unemployment, you know what unemployment is, right? 6.3% is what we're at. Well, that doesn't account for the amount of people that are really unemployed. That's completely left the workforce. Many blacks, Latinos, and women. And so we need to get them back to work. But how do we do that? That's the issue. So what some are saying, some ex experts are saying, is that it would be a mistake for both Democrats and Republicans to feel that everything's fine, the economy's gonna get back to normal because we're gonna put an additional $1.9 trillion in stimulus into it. Some are saying this could actually be, uh, it could be detrimental to the economy in the long run, but we will see. So as of right now, we're kind of just waiting, but we do know there's more talks on the $1,400 stimulus check. Maybe they're gonna to try to push it to 2000. At this point, it's not gonna happen in the House. It would most likely come from people in the Senate. We also know that the, the uh, you know $400 per week, it could get pushed to six, but President Biden proposed four. The child tax credit, it's not gonna to go to 4,200 like Mitt Romney proposed because Mitt Romney's a Republican. Democrats are not gonna pass a Republican proposal because it actually looks bad for Democrats. So again, we will see what happens, but what everybody is currently saying right now is that the only thing we don't know is when this bill is gonna pass. And it comes down to how the Senate uh, receives this. It, do they, it is with welcome arms or, well, we should go a little bit heavier. We should, we should pass a little more stimulus cause you know, Former President Trump's right there. He might try to rerun again, and and we need to hold something over his head because right now he passed you know X amount of dollars in stimulus, and if we come in with only 1.9, you know how does that look for us? That's what people are saying. So here's what we know. Right now, Nancy Pelosi says her plan is to get this kicked over to the Senate come the week of February 22nd. The House at this point has the ability to, if they get this done, pass this bill through the House on February 22nd or get kicked over the Senate. The Senate could potentially pass this on February 23rd. This means President Biden could have this on his desk on the night of February 23rd, which would mean if he signs it, we could see stimulus checks by the end of February. Again, February is only 28 days, okay? Not 31, so about three days short, but between the 23rd and 28th, five days, we could see stimulus checks start rolling out so people that do have the direct deposit, they could potentially be getting a stimulus check very quickly. So that is what we know. But again, as always, as I know more, I promise I'll share more. Like I said, hopefully you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing so I can continue to keep you updated on everything that's going on. And I'll see you guys on the next one.